Ha ha ha. And that is how I got off the boat and to dry land for safety. Oh, hello. Welcome to Live in the Dark with Video Drew. I'm your host, Video Drew. And that's the end of the sentence. We have a very special show for you tonight. The format's a little different. Our crow host, Danny, is not going to be joining us till after he checks note, puts on battle beak makeup. Don't know what that means. But we have a very, very special guest, someone who loves me more probably than anybody else besides Tom, one of my biggest friends. It's going to be Jennifer Sturger. But before she comes on, we get a promo. Roll tape. Fun fact, technically, it's not drowning if the person survives the incident. Haha, <laughs> yes. So before we bring on our very special guest, I do want to remind audiences that, you know, Video Drew stuff, backslash Video Drew for everything, Patreon, Streamlabs, where you can write in questions and have it read out loud by me, and also have it appear on the screen. You know, like that other show. Twitch. And there's my face. Good girl. Hello, everybody. Without any further ado, I would like to bring on a very, 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 probably most special guest we've ever had on Live in the Dark with Video Drew. It's the one, the only, back to you, whoever, Jennifer Sturger. Where am I? What is happening right now? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> great question. Uh, you are in, uh, I don't know the exact address, but I have it here somewhere. Don't give out my home address, Drew. Okay. What are you right. doing? No, don't, don't do that. Uh, where I am is outside that home address right now. Uh, just keeping an eye on things. How are you? Safe now, that's for sure. Very mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. And I have not seen you physically uh, in a six foot radius since probably the last time that uh, me and Tom played together in a match. When yeah, that's not even from COVID. That's just the restraining order. Yes, it is just, <laughs> that is just the restraining order. Uh, I wish you hadn't mentioned that on air because now <laughs> everybody knows. <laughs> Oh man. This whole thing is just gonna be you and I trying to Jimmy Fallon each other, isn't it? Wait, what is that? Jennifer. Jennifer, you might have gotten a restraining order against Video Drew the person, but you did not get a restraining order against Video Drew the art sculpture. I miss you. I miss wow. you so much. Wow. Yeah. The buttons for eyes really is a nice touch. It's um, if you like that, you'll love the 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 teeth for teeth. Are those real people teeth? Haha, <laughs> we'll never know. This was made by super fan Heather Sabian, and it is my best friend, and my soul will go into her when I die. What's she made out of? Leather, R normal leather, normal like regular, like regular not human, like not human skin. Why would you even say that? That would not be the implication. It's just regular leather. And then her hair is made out of hair, not hair. And her teeth are made out of who cares? Fun fact. She's just going to sit here for a little bit. And we will now go on for the rest of the show. This is called the interview portion, where I ask you questions and you answer them. Okay. So it's different than Schmodown, where you usually ask me questions. It's the opposite. Oh, okay. So, Thank you. I, I had no yeah. idea how interviews work. I'm really glad we covered this. You're welcome. No problem. I have you covered, girl. Okay. First question. 
What was it like to first interview Video Drew? It was half as bizarre as what I'm experiencing right now. Honestly, though, mm-hmm. I think I think. Vid- Do I say you or Video Drew? I don't know. I don't know what my rules are. Oh, okay. So, uh, I think Video Drew is quickly become one of my favorite characters in the Schmodown because we work really right. well off of each other. Uh, you, she gives me great improv to work off of. Uh, mm-hmm. She's incredibly funny and witty and uh, very, very dark, which I appreciate. Like, I very much appreciate. Um, oh, it's because yeah. I can't find the light switch. The light switch is somewhere around here. That's why the darkness, but yeah. I meant in your soul, but sure. The what now? Oh, yes. Okay. So that very first time you made a reference to the craft. And uh, I mean, it was probably not uh, the craft of how good I am at movie trivia. Talk a little bit more about that and what what my special my special craft is. Oh, I have no idea what your special craft is. I'm still figuring that out. I think we all are, to be honest. Oh. Uh, but no, I mentioned Sorry. it because I I do believe like watching you and Tom play together, there was some like there was definite witchcraft uh, esque type things going on, and you seem to really know each other really well and work well together. Like you, I think brought out the best sides in him as a competitor, and vice versa. You know, he took direction really well from you. Yeah, he was really good at going where I said to, for him to go and doing what I told him to do, and then also giving all the answers that I already knew, but like it would out of his mouth because it's less effort than opening my mouth and talking. I wasn't trying to make it sound like a hostage situation, but sure. It's not. It's not. Video Drew had one prime directive when she entered the Schmodown, and it was something that was told to her by her good friend, Aaron Burr, and it was talk less, smile more. So she's doing that, and she doesn't want to talk that much. You wouldn't know from watching this show, but Video Drew is, is, was given one directive by, by Aaron Burr, but also Christian Harloff, and it was don't talk that much during the show. Mm. So... So, so uh, Tom did a lot of the talking out of his mouth, so Video Drew could just put on lipstick and look pretty. Gotcha. You're incredible at putting on lipstick, by the way. Thank you. I might, I might do some right now. Jen, you did mention that you would like to one day have a Video Drew makeup tutorial. Is that is that something true? Yes. Awesome. Say say more about say more about how good the makeup is. Uh, oh my god! What, co- that a, what color that a, is that? Is that a cat? No, that's a that's a dog, Drew. That's a dog. Right, dog. His name is Kevin. He's he's how adorable. Do you, how do you spell dog? D O G. Yeah, that's right. Now now ask Christian how he thinks cat is spelled, and we might actually be getting somewhere. Uh, what color is this? This color is. Well, it's really dark in here, Jennifer. So I'm not exactly sure. It's it's it says Rebel. Oh. Yeah. It's by it's by five ninety nine. That's the yeah. price, Drew. Well, are we sure are we sure? Yeah. One, yeah. Let's see. That would make sense because I was I own a lot of one ninety nine and three ninety nines. I thought this was just the the makeup brands here. You're on like a huge regular. fan of that 99 and 199 brand. They know what they're yeah. doing when it comes to makeup, even if it's well, expired. Nine, nine, <laughs> this, it is true that this makeup was bought in a blaze of fury after the very first video drew appearance when she went on Poshmark and decided, I'm really going to commit to whatever this is. And I'm going <laughs> to take makeup advice from moms in Nebraska trying to sell me all of their like extra uh, NYX ultimate edit. And this Actually, so yeah, most, most of the stuff is very old. <laughs> that's yes. like 80s old. Yeah, this is limited edition, but I'm not sure of what or to what. I don't know if it goes on my eyes or my lips. If the brush is confusing. Like that, what what is that? Is that lip or eye brush? That's lip. That's lip. That's lip. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Uh never mind. Then it's fine. So I don't know what highlighter does, uh, but I think it goes everywhere. And bronzer goes ab- goes above the nose. That sounds right. What? Bronzer, your bronzer goes above the nose. That's mom's trick. Mother taught me back in Delaware, Newark, Delaware, where I'm from. Uh, 
that bronzer goes above the nose, highlighter goes below the eyes. So that's that's the little mnemonic device I use to tell myself. Um, and makeup goes around the lips, and then blush goes nowhere. You're not blushing. Don't be scared, little girl. And it's just like makeup tips for mom. Mm. Next question. Do you, you're uh, the one asking the questions. I was gonna say, you know, this is an interview like you're, that's reversed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I got, no, I got, it. I got it, Jen. Um, do you think Christian knows how to spell cat? We kind of went over this. Well, do you? Yeah, we went, you, we've been over that. Okay, good one. Uh, good point. Where do you think Video Drew comes from? I just answered this one. Oh, do you do you remember? I don't know where Video Drew comes from. Where do you come from, Video Drew? Newark, Delaware. Just totally normal. You can fact check it. It's in newspapers and in obituaries and everywhere that's supposed to be. There's a paper trail and a social security number and all the things that are normal. Delaware, what are you going to do? Check it out. No, I'm good. What happened yeah, no. then? What happened then? Um, have you seen the movie Stand By Me? No. Me neither. Tom has. I think that's where the dead body line comes from. Uh so I didn't see Stand By Me growing up, and then I didn't. Have you seen Goonies? Yes, I had. I didn't see Goonies either. So then we were in around third grade. Uh, did you see Last Action Hero? Yes. Okay, uh, I did see that. Then came Jurassic Park. We're just doing these in order, right? About what happened. So I then Jurassic Park came out, and I saw it a bunch of times, like twelve times. Uh, and then we moved to Maryland. Next question. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot about the part. I went to Oberlin. That, that I think that's probably what you're looking for. I went to Oberlin and I became like this. Uh, I went there, um, Lena Dunham showed up. It was a whole thing. It was a whole, it was a whole thing. Four years in Ohio, we'll do this to you. Next question. Let's. How would Video Drew be as a post-match interviewer? Um. I don't know. This is going pretty well. Uh, really? I, I feel like part of the role of a of a backstage interviewer, though, is to kind of be the straight man. And so you let the characters around you be the chaos. You know what I right. mean? And eventually, I, I mean, I come up with like little quips and stuff here and there, but the interview is never about me. It's about the people that I'm talking to. And it's about listening, to be honest. Uh, oh. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like you might actually be too big of a character, like too big of a presence, you know, like, yeah. for, like you would just drown out all the other talent there. Cause you're just so talented. So what I'm getting from you is you are actually the agent of chaos involved in the schmodown. Possibly we're getting maybe an exclusive. Are you the head of the schmominati? Uh, remind, no, no, I don't, oh, the Shmominati no. is not real. It's That's not. That's right. It's Correct answer, Jennifer. Not real. It's not. I, 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 it's really sad that guy's gone down this road, but I, I really truly don't believe the Shmominati is a real thing. I well, think I we've all been cooped up in our houses a little too long. Can I tell you something that makes video Drew very, very, very angry? And she knew this was going to happen. Within two months of this quarantine, everyone's suddenly biting off her style. Like suddenly everybody's, somebody, everyone's acting like her. Uh, Guy, Miss, Mr. Commissioner Harloff, and then there's 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 the other players. Uh, there's Big Hat Man. There's, there's El Fuego, Star Wars dude. Adam Witt throwing a beard. I'm just catching you up on Schmodown news at this point. But everyone, yeah, everyone decided that they were going to do the video Drew thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, going to be honest, that feels like an infringement on copyrighted material. Yeah, we would call that gimmick infringement. Um, gimmick? But I, yes, gimmick infringement. Is that, is that, a, real talk, is that an actual thing? Gimmick infringement? Yes. That's amazing. Yes, there's also There's also a thing called getting lost in the gimmick. And I feel like we're there right now. Oh yeah, well, huh? that's also my favorite TV show. Um, with my music by Michael Giacchino, Lost. Scores and soundtracks, I know them. I'm not trying to promote anything, just saying scores and soundtracks is not something I would ever play on the board if you were playing against me. <coughs> Cough. Next, Next question. question. You're getting good at this. 
You can be video Drew and I could be Jen. Yes. What? Let's not. Let's <laughs> not. Yeah, I think that would be very scary to a couple people involved. My parents would have a really hard time accepting you. No offense. Let's see. Where do you think video Drew found Tom? I don't know. Question. I don't know. But if this mute cute doesn't involve a dumpster, I feel like we've all been let down. Yeah. Right. Or like a graveyard, possibly, or possibly. I think originally the it's idea like was you a both stole windowless vans and you accidentally crash into each other. Like that's the best meet cute scenario for you and Gucci. What if well, that was our guest last week? By the way, that went famously. We we're getting married. I'm not sure if you know this. Gucci and I are 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 getting married. We are joining our houses. Don't worry, it's a fake marriage just to join our fiefdoms. So all of his power becomes my power, and then all of the dungeon he gets the dungeon. So you know, it's really I it's really a uh, I don't give up very much, but I win a lot of things, including all of whatever the fucking stock market exchange is that he has going on. But yeah, that's not I mean, a real thing. It's not that's not a stock market. It's the Finn stock. It's just their name. You know that, right? You know that he's running for mayor of Burbank and I entirely 100% would vote for him. I would register as an American citizen and a human earth person just to like just to vote for just for, for Bobby Gucci as mayor of Burbank. It can't what get any worse. What is he running for? I you know what? I think just honestly the slogan is it can't get any worse. True. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. Do you, Jennifer, do you want to know the slogan for this show? Like sure. it or not. It, it's a uh, like it or don't. It doesn't matter. It's happening anyway. Slogan for the show, but also 2020. For real. This is, this is a very. I thought, I thought the slogan for 2020 was that thing that they put in front of all of the roller coasters in, uh, in Hong Kong and in Shanghai. They wrote scream inside your heart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there was a recently a Twitter article that I did not read that was like, is it actually possible to scream inside your heart? And I was like, um, Pinterest, like, let's save that on Instapaper. Like, mm, gotta find that out later. Definitely want to do that. By the way, we do have a couple of people coming in with questions and people oh. are asking things like, uh, where's Danny? Don't worry about it. He's he's getting ready for uh, some sort of war. Danny, by the way, is uh, he's like Tom, but from Brazil, and he used to be a crow. It's kind of a thing. He's so my he's usual nothing like Tom is what you're saying. Well, they they're kind of well they mm, well, they, they, mm, they both do what I say a lot. So in that way they're exactly identical. And also I have kind of face blindness, so they they look the same to me. Um oh, were we talking about Tom 1 or Tom 2? That's the real I was, question. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. So, so he's getting ready. He has a crow war. Uh, he's usually part of the crow bat wars, and he's here talking about that, and we talk about movie news. But I thought just for today, it would be you and me talking, and then uh, I would ask you literally two more questions, go to some fan stuff, and then we would play a game called What is Sports Even? So real quick, fan stuff. Okay. Hashtags, let's see, the Brazilian Tom. That sounds, that sounds very dirty. Hey, Zeke Gallows, that sounds very dirty. Uh, video drew for mayor. That's true. Video drew created Tom in a lab, possibly. Then we do hear from Alex, one of uh, video drew's other co hosts, saying Josh, Jessica is a natural treasure. Natal treasure. That's national, it's short for national. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah I remember when Nick Cage stars in Natal Tre Treasure, the movie. Tre oh, yeah, the clarified with the treasure. Uh, video Jen, someone else said. Jessica and Jen seem like they would be secretly investigating the Shmominati while publicly denying it. And then there's two eyeballs. Yep. That's a question. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got going on. There's a cat face. North Delaware. No one said North Delaware. First of all, but Delaware is not big enough to have a North and a South. There's Delaware. You know how long it takes to drive across Delaware? like five minutes there's like one joke in the entirety of the pop culture canon there's one joke about delaware and it's from wayne's world and i forget how it goes like cute comment section blowing up let's see the other thing says uh do we want danny to be free video drew seems like enough by herself free the crow 
Looks up the makeup at the theater department. Thank you, all these comments, by the way. Thank you, everybody. Soul Possession slash Ventriloquist. Sounds good. Any questions for Jennifer from the Jenna Naughty? Jen blinked three times for help. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You're, you're fine the way you are. Okay. Oh, look, someone did it. You're in Delaware. Now we're going to play a game. And for this, I will be bringing on um, my crow host. Now, Jen, I don't want you to get scared. He's a very, very normal person now. He's fine. So he's he's very relaxed. And I've slipped him some sedatives. He will be totally normal. This is uh, Danny. Welcome, Danny, to the show. Hello, Jan. How are you? Great now. Yeah, really good. We are all fine here. That is nothing happening at all. You don't sound like a Bond villain ever. Oh, look at that water. Look at you drinking water. Yeah, Very I always fine. drink water. I don't know what you're talking about. I love that. Everything is fine, guys. We are having fun. Kind of when Danny doesn't talk, kind of low-key cute. Kind of low-key cute. Just going to say it. Uh, we also have another guest. I've been told us. that most of my career. When she doesn't talk, she's low-key cute. Can you imagine how much people would like me more if I never opened my goddamn mouth? Sorry. But yes, uh, probably a lot. Talk less, smile more, and bring on the next guest. We have very special and best co-host, uh, Alex Mack. Who am I? I'm indoors, just twirling around in One a second. chair. Who oh. am I? Hey, also, oh. donation coming in. I am Snark, but then also, there you are. Hi. Hi. I'm Danny. I'm a flipping bird. That's who I was. But Do it again. She's a great person, Alex. We all love Alex. It's all around. What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. What's okay. happening, guys? So, guys, we're going to be normal because Jen's here. We're going to be normal, play normal human game. And then afterwards, we're going to get into uh, you know, moderating the discussion panel at 92Y about your guys' uh, – influence on each other and things that definitely didn't clog up Jen's feed today with horrifying imagery. So that's going to be. <laughs> we are all having fun um, today. Jessica, I'm just Alex. excited you are here. I'm just excited that you are being able to tolerate, you know, it's this something. Whole situation. This it's is like, something. you should be given an award. You should be given at least a hug from the Pope or at least a high five from the Pope. Jen for, Jen so. for Yodi 2020. Absolutely. Yeah. That that is, you wouldn't think this here, is guys. a controversial issue, but it is controversial. I do want Jen to win Yodi more than anything. On the other hand, I am technically still living outside in Nerd Chronic's garage. So it's a real, it's a real hard Yodi. My vote's going to, I might have to recuse myself of this vote. Nerd Chronic will get, he has to be around a certain amount of time. I've been here for yeah. years. I've paid my dues, look, look including this interview. I feel like this puts me over the top, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, thank you for your donation, uh, AJ. Uh, it is true that you are paying your dues, including this interview, specifically. <laughs> so let's actually get AJ let's actually so get funny. let's get to the game that we have. Uh, Jen, you know something about sports? I heard allegedly, allegedly. That's that's what I hear. I also know something about sports because I'm normal, and so is Danny. Danny knows all those things about Danny. That's Danny, you normal. know sports? Of course, I know normal sports. sports. Alex and I talk about sports um, all the time, especially for our Cinema Bias show where we just watched Warrior, a movie about um, Andrew Guy and Ben Bateman uh, exactly. beating each other up for, yeah, for sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we have a game for you tonight to play, Jen. It's called What is Sports Even? We're going to show you a couple stills from sports games. We're going to go around in a circle, and, uh, and me and Danny are going to give you our best approximation and Alex too about what the sport is. And then you can tell us what, what's going on here. And I, okay. I was I'll try, I'll try my best. I'll try my best to explain it to you. Uh, yeah. Je um, our producer, Sean said that he got some great sports, uh, imagery and okay. because I brought them sport. Sports so let's bring fun. up our first question. Yeah. Sports. 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 Uh, so that's a, that's actually a mascot. It's his name's Gritty. He's ah! for the Philadelphia Flyers. It's the hockey team, you know. But he doesn't like actually play. 
You have to let me do it first. You have to let me say it first. Okay, but I don't think you're going to get <laughs> it. It's literally a mascot. It's not sports. It's like, you guys, I thought you were going to do sports things. It is? It is it, it's, hockey, wait, it's hockey not a sport? Oh. I'm confused. Uh, hold, on, hold on. This is a sport thing. Jennifer, I, I hate to interrupt and say that you're uh, completely wrong because I read in my journalism book you're not supposed to do that in interviews. But, uh, honey, are you sure that you're right about that? Because I'm pretty sure what this guy is is he's the demigod of the sports team, which is a position that uh, is filled every two or three years. There's been some controversy around it where if, you, if you're a hockey, hockey man and you, and you um, make a secret wish at a carnival – uh, to become taller and have more teeth, you become sport. You become hockey man and the sport demigod, and he's, he gets a hat. Looks like so. Yeah, he he basically manages like the players and he keeps track of their schedules. He's not an actual player of the team, so that's a little bit of a trick question. Uh, Danny, what do you think sport this sport is? Well, well, I think it involves facial hair. Like who facial has more facial hair? hair? It seems like yeah, it. it's facial hair, but also the facial hair extends down to the to the his oven mitts. Sorry, I mean hands, human hands. No, he looks, he looks a little bit like my cousin. Uh, it, which is this is a good look. I like that he doesn't blink. We're watching a live video feed of him, correct, Sean? This is this is a little live feed. Uh, he's he's yeah, he's really good. I like him a lot. Alex, thoughts about about my friend? Uh, it's, I thought it was Chewbacca. Good point. Is this, and then it's the Chewbacca. butterfly meme. Like with the jersey. Yeah. Right, is this Nicole. Chewbacca? You know what? You would never think Chewbacca was actually a huge fan of jerseys. There's a lot of things we don't know about that race. You never know, man. Oh, somebody, I, Zeke Gallo. Zeke Gallo says, uh, sorry, he said, national face hair growing champion. That sounds exactly. great. Exactly. That sounds pretty good, Jen. Sorry, Jen, what was your answer again? He's no, a no, guys. He's a mascot for a, a national hockey team. Right. Like for, for he's the mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers. You know that, right? So do you think he, he has more been he has been actually held in he actually was in a lot of trouble because he like beat up a child? <laughs> Is that true? Yes. Oh, oh. but apparently it. the child was asking for it, so <laughs> Leo. I would vote him for mayor of Burbank any day. Oh, that By is the amazing. way, this is a still. It's not a photo. It's not a video. Drew. When it, it's, you're going to be so Drew. shocked when he blinks at you, like real slow. <laughs> are we 100% just, certain it, or are we like 50% certain? Um, 100%. Or like are we somewhere in between? Maybe? Mm. Or maybe I would like say a cool 71%. I like. I like. I also stuff. don't think he's related at all to Chewbacca. He's probably a little more closely related to Animal from Muppets, if I had to oh. guess. Wait, but they're cousins. Wait. I thought. Cool. Question from well, great are answer. They, are from they not cousins? Says he's a Muppet lookalike winner. Uh, that is maybe true. What he also is is colorblind because I don't think he knows that his outfit is the same color as his skin. So like Marissa Tomei and my cousin Vinny, like you blend. Oh yeah, you blend. It's a good look. And his eyes are the same color too. I just noticed that. Next picture. That's not a picture. That's just all four of us together again. Yes. Good looking bunch by face on myself. I'm a great person. I Blink. agree sometimes. Okay, next picture. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is a very sexual Muppet. Um, oh yeah. Look at that confidence. How about we start? We start with you, Alex. I'm gonna make it so I can see your face. Uh, okay. So, what do you think? What do you think um, this guy is, or girl, or them ever? Uh, Bulbasaur, probably from Pokemon. Fair, super it's fair. It's 100 percent Bulbasaur. Well, it's Bulbasaur with a baseball cap on. I'm like so a good 85 percent confident. That's that's very confident. What sport? What sport is this? Clearly. Are you, ask, are you asking me? Anybody. Just in general. I know the answer, but I just in general. Oh, oh, do you? Yeah. Please, please share. It's from um it's from it's from the calendar of the month. So it's probably for the oh, it's 
It's the fireman sport. Uh, what is the sport the fireman plays? Um, Spider-Man plays Pokemon. Spider-Man plays Pokeball. Uh, arson. He's from uh, Arson Ball. Arson and Ball. also dinosaurs. And also they never existed. Sport. So would you like the real answer at this point? or Danny, I want Danny to take his best guess. Because Danny doesn't know sport as well as I know sport. Yeah, of course I know. This is actually a cosplay from a character of my child, child, child. Uh, yeah, you were child. You get it. Yeah, my childhood movie. No, I I cried a lot to to the to this character, you know, because I had a very normal childhood. Yeah, no, totally. And it was the land before time, right? Yes, exactly. I love land before time. <laughs> So actually, his it. name is Dinger, and he was hatched from an egg. He's the mascot for the Colorado Rockies baseball team, guys. Stop stealing my gimmick, baseball. Dinger. Hmm? He's hatched from an egg? Yes. Not fair. Infringement. Uh, uh, I, I believe egg. the dinosaurs were actually destroyed by an arson ball, a very large arson ball. So he, I, don't th I think he's, he's still too scarred to actually play arson ball. Oh wait, That's you fair. mentioned Scar. That means that means everyone has to take a drink because we mentioned the most sexual of the Disney characters. Sorry, Jen. That's that's a rule now. Mm. So it is true that uh, he was killed by an arson ball, uh, one of which you can probably see in the night sky uh, because I definitely pinged them to come pick me up in like a couple months. Uh, but yeah, it's hovering around somewhere. So next picture, arson ball, arson ball, Eggman. Danny, put that down. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, just. Oh no! Drink my water. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I definitely okay. know this. I, I, this I, I like that confidence. I don't know That's how this it. got messed up uh, in the pictures. I don't know where Sean found this. That's a picture of my ex. Um, I try not to talk about him too much. He's he's kind of a celebrity. It, that's that's Mr. Greenzo. Uh, Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little bit. Uh... Yeah, we dated for like eight months. It was a whole thing. We moved in together real quickly. He didn't want to pay rent, and then also he he had things coming out of the side of the head that poked me in the night, and I didn't like it. And he was also a police officer. It looks like you sure they were out of his head, right, Drew? Well, I mean, they're engorged, but they're definitely out of the face part. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds right. Um, Mr. Greenzo, yeah, he Officer Greenzo. Uh, he is, he's supposed to wear his badge number usually actually out. It's kind of messed up that he's not. Uh, Alex, do you know anything about, about Greenzo, Mr. Greenzo, officer? Um, it looks like Oddish to me, the Pokemon. I, I love that Alex's reference points to everything is Pokemon. It's true. Pokemon it looks like great. Oddish. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, Danny, what totally. do you think? This is a Teletubby. Oh, God, you remember those? They were the green kind of, one. Yeah, not the not the one that uh, people were scared about being a different sexuality because that's something we should definitely project onto children. But that's yeah, it kind of looks like the green one, I guess. Uh, Jen, why don't you tell me what you think uh, my ex is up to these days? Well, it, I don't think he's your ex. His name's Orbit. He's the mascot for the Houston Astros. Uh, he nice. looks a lot yeah. like Oscar the Grouch, which is super appropriate if you know anything about Astros baseball because they got caught in a giant cheating scandal by banging on trash cans. So oh, the more, and they, the more you know. And it's funny because I call him like actual garbage. Snap, 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 snap. Also, we broke up because I didn't want to move to Texas. That's That's where Houston is, right? That sounds yes, right. I think that's right. That is what happened, and that's 100% what happened. And Jen, can you talk a little bit about how he went from um, from being a, a police officer to to being the head of a trash can banging? So is that something? Is that a career path that is often in sports? Apparently, it was a promotion, Drew. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it sounds like it was a promotion. He won a contest, I believe. So that sounds right. Uh, I like his shoes. It looks like he's done a lot of growing. I might unblock him and Facebook message him right now. So just give me five minutes. Um, next picture, Sean. That's mm. not a picture. No, that's just us. He's definitely an ex. He cheated. On what? Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, I know this one. Danny, you start then? It's the villain from Ghostbusters. 
oh my god i didn't think you would recognize him because i know that that's another co-host of mine uh on a show that i don't air anywhere but just say into a mirror but yes that is uh that is zool that is my boyfriend yes. zool we are currently so dating exactly like him what's going on you think with in the background of that picture i feel like there's there's a, a small child maybe who who is desiring to get beat up if my uh if my knowledge about uh mascots is learned from jen tonight the child is probably asking for it to get beat up specifically well thank you for subscribing chris single um yeah what do you think's going on here jen i think it's just people lined up to get their picture taken with mr matt drew Mr. Mr. Met's Mr. the, yes, Mr. Met, that's his name. He's like the mascot for the New York Mets. So some of them have names that correspond to their things, and some of them are just named Gritty. Yes. This doesn't make any sense. Jen, I think you're, I think you're on drugs, is what I'm going to say to that. That sounds crazy. That is you're a wild, like, question, bro. That might be a bit much. So he's like related to Kevin's Mets. Oh, is that why his head looks like that? That makes sense now. Yeah, that does look like Kevin Smets. Uh, when I think about it, with the if you, you trade in the baseball cap for uh, for a, a hoodie, and also you traded in the stitches for um, being in Newsies when he was ten years old, that's pretty much a one to one Kevin Smets, who I love desperately because he's on the dungeon with me. We all next love picture, Smets. Next picture, if there is one, is there not one? Let's see. Boop. Now that is uh, a Pokemon. That is a Pokemon. That's um uh Krangistan. Right? As I say it. Krangistan. Hmm. Nope. I don't like how its nose hole thing is. Alex, that it's please save name. me here. What is this? Please tell me you know what this is. Um Groot. Slenderman. I'm gonna go with that one. It's Groot. Um, I, I only know one mascot, the real mascot. Um, it thing is, I, I don't really care about, don't know anything really about baseball outside of the Cardinals. I'm not gonna lie. Um, baseball, you know. it's from baseball. Yeah, yeah it's from I baseball. didn't know that. You know, I got, I had this no. hat. So I we're gonna be talking too. about the Cardinals. That's one conversation, but if we're not, I oh, never did least one. Oh no, beneath you, beneath you, there's a mascot. It was sorry. You took the hat off. It's fine now. Um, oh. I don't look at the nose hole. I I don't want to sound uh, like you know xenophobic or whatever. I just don't like the way that its face is shaped, and I don't like its nose hole, and it bothers me. I think it would make a sonic boom that makes me upset, and it looks like it could shoot like um t-shirts at me, and I don't like that about it. I actually it's like that about it. I really do. Query whether I love a free t-shirt. Is the Shmominati just giving us a lot of Philly stuff for some reason? This is a this is a Philly fanatic. Yes. Oh, that's weird. Because Alex, I think, is pro or anti something that's Philly related. Or is that New York? You like a New York thing, right? You I, like a New York thing, right? Alex? Sure. I like a lot of things in New York. I mean, sports team related, aren't you sports team that's New York? Yep, absolutely. Tell, tell me a little bit more about that. Which sports team? Um, the White Sox. Wow, that's a good one. That's the color yeah. most of my the the, uh, the New York White Sox are really fantastic. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that sounds right. I have a shirt that says New York Yankees on it because that's how old Delaware is. Danny, what do you think of this this guy and what his deal is? And also, like, should we maybe uh, call somebody to pick him up? No, he seems that he's having a great time like he, we are having right now. Like he's going about to dance. He looks like he's about to call somebody out. Like he's pointing at them and going, you, you, you. How does it go again? I missed it. No. It goes, okay, so he's like looking at somebody, probably a small child that he's about to beat up. Uh, Jen's words, not mine. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's Jen holding something. Jen, 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 Stan, were you holding something up? What? Nothing. No, no, no. Everything's cool. Everything's yeah, cool. He's having fun, Drew. You all having fun. Right, Alex, my love. Always. Well, we'll get into it. Uh, 
So I think that what he's saying is, you, you, you. And that's his name. He's like a Pokemon, to Alex's point. He's a Pokemon, and he says he says one thing, and it's it's the name of the child, and the child's name is you. Um, as a, it's a, it's a, it's a transfer student. Um, I like next how slide. We should go to the next slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next slide. Next slide. Is that, is that problematic? AF? Yeah. Great. That's great. Uh, do we have one more slide for, for, for Jenna, uh, the Geminati? Well, what a great Geminati. name. <laughs> Low key, this one actually upsets me and that takes a lot. This, this is upsetting. <laughs> they are so oh. funny. Let's just cut right to Jen. Uh, Jennifer, Jenna Sonny, uh, what do you what do you think? Can you just tell me what this one is? Because I don't like it. I don't like the numbers. I don't like how one of them's dressed like Freddy Krueger. Uh, nothing about this appeals to me as a person or as a... Freddy Krueger? Where did you get Freddy Krueger from that? Second to the left. Second to the left. Just a little color scheme's a little bit off, but that's definitely um, my boyfriend, Robert England. Uh, with his face down, he's like, "Welcome it's to amazing." Sport. I had no idea you were a furry because you really enjoy. You have a type. Yeah, I do. I am dating most of these mascots, which is weird because I am also terrified of them. You know, it's it's a weird transformation that I'm not sure if it's like I bring I like attract mascots or if I slowly transform them during a period of time, a la Kevin Smith's tusk into mascots. It's it's weird. We're still trying to figure it out in therapy. Uh, not, I'm not entirely sure what these guys are. Um, yeah, we jumped in. I know that they do like president head races in Washington, but these guys clearly aren't presidents. Uh, Sorry, what? They do what? <laughs> the presidents, you know, like they have like a bunch of the presidents. Teddy Roosevelt oh. always tries to cheat and he loses. <laughs> no, you know, actually, there's people like, dressed in giant president heads. Like in a robbery movie? Like in Point Break? No, no, not quite Point Break. It's like a mascot thing. Like it's little. It's just. It's just on the top part of their bodies. I literally. This is. This is a hundred percent breaking kayfabe. Have no idea what the hell you were talking about. That's terrifying. There's a race with president heads. Yeah. I have no uh, idea what these. I have no idea what these are because they're not even the pierogies. Which the pierogies are. They're. They're in Pittsburgh. No way there's no way oh. there's pierogies. There's pierogi races, yes. <laughs> Jen, I can't tell if you're just messing around with video drew or not. <laughs> nope. So, uh, someone says that not these are sausages. Fame. Maybe, I don't know. They're like sausages? Ocean 5, says somebody else. That's very funny. I, like I also have no idea what this is. Yeah, they Sean. They look like the characters from Pixar. Like, yeah, there's that you know one dude from Ratatouille. There's what's his face Jen. from Jen. Up, you know what else? You know, you know what else he looks like? And then I'm gonna wink into the camera. So watch. You know what else they look like? And it's it's innuendo, but also these things are disgusting and terrifying. They look like bananas on pajamas. Oh my God! Yes, bananas and pajamas. Yes, Sean, do we have one more? Because uh, I think Jen has a, a hard out where the restraining order is actually going to kick in in like three. Yeah, minutes. it literally so, uh, shuts off my computer. It's uh, yeah, it's ankle sad. monitors will start beeping in a second. <laughs> it's gonna go. Let's see. So do we have one more, or are we are we gonna just gonna make me do the talking? Can't tell. Let's see. That might be it. That might be it. That's all. That, that's it. So, Jen, Jennifer, I think we learned some things today. Uh, oh, we got another donation. Hold on. Why we don't you recap today. for me? I was about to say, you recap for me. I was going to say, you recap for me. But you know what? I'll recap for you. So, today we learned, uh, if you guys missed it, if you didn't see it earlier, thank you, Carmel Mountain. Uh, we learned that Jennifer is the head of the Shmominati. Um, I, that, that's not that, that's not at all true. We learned that uh, the restraining order does not activate until midnight. It's sort of like a little Cinderella story. We learned that uh, Video Drew is Jen's favorite character. And we learned um, that most of the things that are mascots 
shouldn't be feared, but should be trusted and loved until such time that they prove themselves uh, cheating, lying, garbage people. Do you, do you have anything so to add true. To that, you are so wise beyond your Centuries. whatever. Yes. Yeah. So, Jen, I'm going to do the thing that we normally do. Danny, I think you said you had to go somewhere for a hot second, but I want to know where people can uh, find I you. I a lot of fun with Jen. Yeah. Oh, so. uh, where they can find me at Jennifer Sturger yeah. on all the social media. Plus, you guys, if you like sports, if you actually like sports and just random fun sports. things, it would be amazing if you guys could check out the podcast that I do. I we stream it live every day on Twitter mm -hmm. and my Facebook page. Uh, it's me, my husband, and our friend Eddie Pence, who's an amazing comedian. Um, but like I said, we we talk. We talk about sports and we talk about a lot of entertainment stuff and just random life things. Uh, but I guarantee you it's funny. It'll distract you from all of the stuff that's going on in your life uh, because I know I enjoy doing the show for those same reasons. So if you haven't checked it out, it's Swings, A-N-D-M-R-S. Get it? Swings and Misses. Oh, that sounds that's like a very funny Swings and Misses. That sounds like a very funny pun that I'd like to see on a podcast or something. Yeah. I'll work on that for you. Great. Uh, so, uh, Jen, uh, I'm going to do the – Or is that all the things or is there more thing? No, I was going to say it's great seeing Alex. I, I love – I always love seeing your face. You know, I'm a huge fan of your work. Um, Drew, you missed a spot right here. Just kind of, you know, maybe blend. Just keep blending. Yeah, uh -huh. Thank let's you. Keep, let's keep blend. blending. Like I said to my friend Gritty, you blend. You, the point is you're blending any remaining humanity left in your soul. So you're just trying yeah. to like uh -huh. make sure it's not there anymore. Uh, we, we're already discussing our next show, which is me and Jen. All right, good luck, guys. Back to you, whoever. Bye. <laughs> She's a delight. Okay. She is wonderful and also my biggest fan. So, Alex, True. we wanted to. Have, I wanted to have you on this show. I wanted I you wanted on this show. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. I know you've been wanting about this for a very long time. And it's, I thought, you know what? I think we should really allow Video Drew to really come in and really just take ownership of how amazing she is. So, so what, what the hell happened though? What, I mean, I, I want to say that it takes a lot to, to mess with Video Drew, but there's something that happened uh, where I woke up at 3 p.m. today, like normal. And I woke up and there was like a million uh, like alerts on social medias. There was a lot of there was a lot of back and forth. Uh, there, there was, was there were words. Yeah, I mean, it looked like first of all, it looked like you were gorgeous. You you looked absolutely stunning as always. Like you, if you guys hadn't seen it, uh, uh, Alex made a video responding to uh, Crow Bert, uh, Danny, my co host. Um, he had said some words about about a video I had made. So let's back up. I, I made a video just saying something that Alex uh, didn't ask me to say. Uh, she, it was not a condition of her appearing on this show for me to make a video saying that she's my favorite co-host. I mean, co-host. And so uh, I did that, like, from my own volition. And Danny responded and seemed uh, a little bit upset. Yeah. And then you responded, and you seemed really pretty. Like, really pretty. Like, like have you done something to your hair recently? Like, it looks so good. I and just then, woke up the Oh my God. This is a safe face since, you know, I haven't touched it. I literally, it hasn't touched water. Yeah, it looks so good. So, but then Danny responded. There were some weird videos. Uh, there were some secret signs. People were responding. Yeah. I do believe we have Danny back here. I do want to get a little bit into it now that Jen uh, has put the restraining order activated. I do want to find out a little bit more from both of you what this, what this little crow host, co-host war is about. So let's bring Danny back on here. Uh, Danny. Oh, that's different. Hello, Alex. I, I, I think, Drew, you also misspelled it. It should be crow host versus co-host because one I've, person I've, here is a human. So I think we, in a categorical sense, we need to get that straightened out, challenged on yeah, that. Challenge in the categorical sense. Uh, him. He's not oh, a human. Oh, my God. I um, really? Are you calling for that, Drew? Oh, my I, gosh. I got the lights. We didn't write this Chiron, but she's absolutely right. Crow host versus co it's co host versus crow host. What the hell are you doing, Sean? Are you sleeping on the job here? Oh, she she's left. Of course, he, he <sighs> always oh sleeping my on God. the job. You all know that. Are you doing an impression of the crow? 
No, I'm the just bad one. Oh, I'm just to be honest. Have you? Kaiser does like, miss Batty. That's a low bar. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. It's it's it's, it's just ridiculous that you know these allegations are coming about you know that i'm just it's do the somehow voice. not my favorite do the voice thank you ryan brian says uh hey video drew uh danny and alex uh the same support something something in the dark with video drew keep those lights off thanks you're welcome uh, every time I, I need to get better about Streamlabs because every time it happens, my screen freezes for a little bit. So thank you for the donations. Keep them coming, it's but also part of realize the aesthetic, that. Mistress. Yeah. So we were we were going to the part where Alex was going to do the voice. What voice? I have a voice. Do, do oh sorry, I thought Hello, you were doing an impression. Talking is your oh. greatest talent, Alex. That oh my gosh. Weird. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, Drew, my love. I've, I've, uh, thank you so much for feeding me those crushed up worms and the random bits of bird feed. Don't worry, I pooped in the appropriate spot as requested. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's, it's been a wonderful, you know, being under your tutelage, you know, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's pretty right. And then he usually trails off at the end, like, just like that. Yeah. Just like that. How'd you nail it? He's. Uh, you know, really? when you're as really? great as I am and as great as you are, Drew, it's really easy to when someone comes in trying to take my place to for them just to be it's like, no, oh, my gosh, I'm better than the other person. Oh, oh my gosh. But obviously inferior. Look at this. What is written on his chest? It's the in German. Oh, yes. wow. we met, I, I, met, I met my German brother, by the way. He's great. Oh, so it's the person. Bart. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, wait, so, should I, oh, wait, should we are getting a message from Nerd wait. Chronic saying, uh, Alex and Danny need their own Men in Black spinoff. They are killing these looks. God damn. Okay, well, I can do that, too. Don't, don't oh, wait, sorry. Me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let me just. Let me oh, just my God. This is so much fun. This is already my favorite thing that we've ever done on the show, and I just had Jen Sturger on. So, how do you write backwards? I didn't. So, Danny, tell I us a little bit about why, why did you have a problem with the video I put out? Because, yeah. I, because, because Drew, mistress, you clearly being, being held hostage or under spell of this usurper right below me. I am oh. not the only one that's seen that. I have a lot of people that agree. What with. spell are you referring to? Why would a oh, no, witch I did. as I did it wrong. A witch <laughs> as glorious and as powerful as Drew and her clone protect her protector clone be influenced by someone so meek? You said and so, so someone that's powerless. How could I ever compete? To insinuate such things is blasphemous. How do you do this, but not backwards? <laughs> I messed up. It's okay. Made, you messed up too, so we're all in the same I mean, group. So, actually, actually, right. right. about about being so powerless uh, and someone who's so powerful with me. So the thing about Danny that you should know is that I did turn him from a crow into a boy, apparently, and his family has been through a lot. Like I don't want to be disrespectful. The crow bat wars were a hard time for Danny and his family, and he might be hashtag like crow triggered by some things that have uh, gone in the past. So I'm not sure if that's maybe why Danny you got so upset at the idea that um, that Alex is the the best co-host. Better see, than see, this is not true, guys. Alex is trying. And then we'll so back to the camera. Do stay back to the camera. Okay, what? Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I mean, mistress. All this flurry is going to end tonight. Oh wow! So wow. here's the thing, Alex and so I want won... impressive. Oh, this so is getting old so quick, my dude. I so mean, like. Alex... Oh, uh, 
Alex, I gotta say, Danny, Danny has known me since I guess he was like, like born like in an egg, like one of those Pokemons that Jen is best friends with. But uh, you have known me ever since you you screamed at me in the bathroom stall in New York. This is true. So I don't even know who makes what makes that like who's my older um, best friend in this scenario because mm -hmm. Danny technically a hatchling, and it yeah. might have. You know what? Actually, it might have been around the same time that Danny reached out to me about a very funny segment of the the Schmodown rundown, in which uh, that was that was very funny. It might have been the oh, same God. weekend that you yelled at me in a bathroom stall in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, yelled is a strong word. What happened? I there? didn't so much yell at you. I screamed at you. Yeah, because you I realized who you were, and then I yes. complimented you on your shoes because you well, know. You Bonding. Okay, so here I'll do a dramatic recreation. Here's me. I'm washing my hands in the bathroom stall of a, a Schmodown event where I'm dressed normal. So no one knows it's me. And also I've played one game at this point. So like who the hell cares? And this is me. I okay, and then I'm gonna be Alex. So the person with this stuff on the chest is And Alex. you're washing your hands, by the way. And I'm like I'm I'm in the stall, bathroom stall. <laughs> and I go, of course you're not. <gasps> and then I turn around and I go, huh, because it's a loud noise right next to my ear. And she goes, ah, it's video drew. No, I whispered it. I was like, oh, it's video drew. Yeah, I think you said your video. And then drew. I said, and then I apologized to you. And then I was like, I'm so sorry. It was I'm, the first, I'm, it, we're doing this in a bathroom and I'm so sorry. It was the first moment that any, and it's still to this day, the only moment a fan has gotten me out of kayfabe because you, were, you startled me so much. You were like a human jump scare, which I love about you. You scared the shit out of me. Uh, absolutely terrifying. Uh, to just be in a bathroom and just hear, <gasps> just right behind your ear, like a horror movie. So I love that, that about a, you immediately. Now that compare that. Lovely origin story. It but sounds, it's not it sounds like I have this precious, beautiful moment that Danny Boy can ev never, ever obtain. Darling, 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 darling. Oh, darling, darling, darling. darling. You, really think, you really think <laughs> that okay. your story is better than mine? Dean, this was an accident. Danny, why don't you tell our story? You're so good at it. Honey, you go. Come on, crow host. Come on. Tell the well, story. I'm waiting to be impressed. Here's how that happened. Okay. Mr. Frank <laughs> Number said something about my mistress' new profile picture on Twitter. And then and then what happened? Then what did what Brad uh, Gilmore say? And then Brad, Brad Gilmore said he, he cannot act like this on camera, he said, basically. He said, Creepy is all he said. Creepy, yes. And that's a word that I hear a lot from you. I don't understand. It's a compliment where I'm from. And then then they talked about my brackets, I believe. And then... And the brackets. Of course your brackets. Yeah, the brackets. And then Frankie got very flustered. And you sent this to me with the idea that I guess it was funny to time cut, to time stamp. Uh, it's funny someone. to make it fun of, some, of someone else. You know that. That's why we brought up Alex today. It is the... Well... Making fun of other people is my favorite activity. Exactly. So that's really hard, you guys. One of these people was a human jump scare, and that was Alex. And one of those people uh, was, was uh, already sourcing out media footage of, of people being flustered while trying to talk about me in not relation to my physical attributes. So it's really, what do you guys think? Let's put it to the chat. Let's see. Uh, team Disney. Oh, no, someone's Team Disney. That's not great. Crazy, uh, you had one job. You know what? I do love me a Disney movie every now and again. I'm all about, you know, Maleficent. She's just one of badass lady. I love her. Wait, I don't know what that means. Corvid is real. Team Brandy. Wait, is Brandy now in the running too? Oh, man. If you're, well, Brandy is a dish. I love her. Brandy is. Mistress. Okay, can, can I tell you a secret about can Brandy? Can you serve two mistresses simultaneously, Danny? Can you handle that? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can. He Wait, can where you? He, he, he can you. You claim to know me, but you don't know anything. That's true. Actually, actually, Alex Shashek. Oh, wow. I have discovered a breach <gasps> on your contract for being the better host or best host. I never so, call myself the best can make host. Can so. I call up my lawyer, Good. and my lawyer is going to happen and be here right. Wait, wait, maybe not. 
Maybe oh. not because the lawyer is not currently here. Maybe they'll be back from the bathroom or whatever. I'm I'm seeing right. Sean frantically make a movement. First of all, I did not know about it. This uh, oh, looks like we're getting a lawyer back. Looks like maybe. Uh, so I did not know about this. I hope it goes okay. If it doesn't, this whole show's over. Goodbye forever. That reminds me, everybody after the show for Patreons, we're having a Zoom after show party for the Video Drew experience. So you should all join us. And that is a thing that happened. Uh, should we just Can put Can I your bring my lawyer? Well, I don't know. Can you? Let's bring them on. This is, I guess, the Crow Lawyer. Let's see. I'm seeing. I'm. Yep. There we go. According to Article Two Three Five Seven, you can only be the favorite co-host to only one podcast at a time. So, Alex, your loyalties. Where do they lie? Yeah. With video, Drew, or call to action. The true war has begun. Are you Kermit? Oh, it's not Kermit. I thought you were yeah. Kermit talking in the mirror. Counterpoint, Alex. Wait, he's gone. There's Kermit. Yeah. Do we need to talk about how many podcasts Danny Boy is here is involved with? I didn't realize yeah, we had to go into that, but clearly, I didn't, I didn't want to do a counterpoint to my own argument, but I mean to, to Danny's own argument. But yes, let's let's talk about that. Counterpoint. Come on, Alex, Alex. darling. Oh, oh, Danny boy. Oh, oh, crow. Okay, this is ridiculous. How are you seeing indoors in in these sunglasses? This is bonkers. This is like hurting my eyes. But well, here's a question. Danny's involved with another, he's got another master. Uh, so this is very, this is very, no, awkward, he's my but, uh, boss. It's different. It's a different relationship. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. sorry. Good. Work relationship. Did you serve multiple masters and bosses? I'm confused. Wait, what's I'm going so on here? Confused. Why, 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 why do we have Twitter? Why do we? That's a great question, guys. Just let's pause this game for a minute and ask why do, why do we have Twitter? Is it helping anybody? Like, what should we maybe just quit Twitter? No. Nah. It's helping my sanity. Yeah, I don't think that's the truth for me. Wounds that will heal, and then it looks like someone's face, and it says, you're right, I better... Oh, this is some of that's craziness. Then that is... Um, that is Snoop Dogg. It is. Okay, thank God. Uh, Snoop Lion, sorry, Snoop Lion. Hey, Alex, which, um, which, uh, which rapper was in Halloween 4? I've never seen a Halloween movie. Oh my gosh. Should we put that on our show? If you want to be a manager, you have never seen a Halloween movie. I hope. I don't need to watch movies in order to be a good manager. This is true. Have you seen Roxy ever come to the internet? No. Yeah, that's true. And Kaiser, I don't know if Kaiser's ever sat through a whole movie. That's true. And even Shannon Barney, she's even vocal about it, how she doesn't care about watching movies all that much. But it is funny. It is she funny has managers seem to have open better. She signs homework. It does seem to have what? open the managers have open disdain for movies, with the exception of like maybe Coy and Sam Levine. The managers I'm good when it comes to assigning homework. Literally. Let's see. Let's see. Here's hey. just another one. Alex, Here's Alex. another one. Ask, ask me a question. Ask me a question about um, movie scores. Like, ask me a question about um, like who who did the score for for every, um, um, all but three Tim Burton movies. Ask me that question. You know, for Tim Burton movies. Yeah. Ask me how who did the score for all but three. Who did the and score I'll, for all but three Tim Burton movies? And then blah blah blah. I would give you the correct answer, and then like I will win the tournament that way. Ooh. See, Brian brings uh, me some trivia questions, Yeah, please Brandon. ask me some trivia questions because this, this show is going to be really hot. Hot. Coming in hot. What actor has starred as the following characters? Jack Nicholson. A DC villain. Oh, yeah. A neurotic lawyer and a struggling comedian. Uh, DC villain, struggling comedian, uh, do you put Ed struggling for an DC lawyer? Sorry, DC lawyer, struggling comedian, comedian uh, DC villain, struggling lawyer. Jack Nicholson, technically all three. Is it? Maybe. My yeah, answer yeah. here is Jim Carrey. Yeah, but with I think the Riddler Jim for them and forever. Liar, liar, and man on the moon. But Ed Jim uh, Jack correct. Nicholson, because he's played the Joker. Jack Nicholson mm-hmm. has been a DC, uh, or sorry, 
I can't tell. Were you talking about DC the the place or DC yeah. the property? Like oh, the DC property. Oh, I think meant DC like Washington DC. I was like, he's been the president. Oh. He's been so sorry. Say the question again, and I will now know the answer. <laughs> Oh, what are your start as the following characters? A DC villain, a right. lawyer, and a struggling comedian. Okay, when you put struggling like that, it makes it seem like Andy Kaufman wasn't a very highly successful comedian. Well, no, he was struggling behind the scenes, though. That's hence sure. why struggling. When you also said it the first time, I thought it was going to be Robert De Niro with the DC lawyer. I thought it was going to be Robert De Niro because he's from, like, you know, he's in a movie where he's watching the DC. I thought it was the Kings of Comedy. And I, yeah. I thought it was that one for a second and a struggling. Yeah. Comedian would be Kings of comedy, DC lawyer. He's definitely played a lawyer at some point. Next question. Okay. Jim Carrey. Let's see. Um, here. Ooh, here's one. What classic actor has played the following characters? Jack Nicholson. An Asian King, a Pharaoh and a sci-fi gunslinger. Mm, Christian Bale. Yul Brenner. Kaiser. Yul Brenner. Definitely Yul Brenner was my first thought, but Christian Bale, I believe, also has played the Pharaoh and a sci fi gunslinger. And what was the first one? It's, it's Yul Kaiser. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, the, the, the last, in the last one, was a, a, a sci fi gunslinger was Westworld, The King and I, and Ten Commandments. Right. But I think it also could apply to Christian Bale, technically. Listen to me. Empire. <gasps> he the was in Exodus, wasn't he? Or he was, was the Pharaoh in Exodus. Scott, no, was it really Scott yes. movie? Yeah, he was. He was in Ridley Scott's Exodus. He was the oh. Pharaoh. Yeah, he was a definitely. Sci -fi he's a sci-fi gunslinger in Oblivion, right? Isn't that the name of it? Oblivion. Oh, he's uh, on, is he in it? Is is that the one I'm thinking of? Or I'm thinking of Tom Cruise. Oblivion is one with Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. There's the other one where he's a uh, nerd chronic in the chat. Tell us the name of it. There's, it's Terminator, there's a Terminator movie. There's Terminator yeah, Salvation. But, he, but he's not really a gunslinger per se. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. He was Moses in Exodus. He's Moses, not Pharaoh. Moses was the brother of Pharaoh. Mm. No big deal. Uh, and then also Joe Crisnell lawyer, some people are saying. Uh, what is the movie I'm thinking of where he's the bad guy and he's it's kind of like in the future and he's got the guns? Equilibrium. Thank you. I blame gravity. Oh Jack man, he's not. A, no, he's not. A, he's not a oh. gunslinger. Yeah, he's not a gun. He slings it around. Gunslinger. Uh, okay, that can definitely be argued. When I think of gunslinger, I usually commonly associate it with like cowboy. Challenge in categorical sense. Absolutely. But also speaking of which, did you ever change my based on my challenge earlier the title between the mm -hmm. animal and I? Yeah, I would like I would like Sean. That's that's not that's beneath me in terms of job level function. Uh, Sean, you should be changing that to co-host versus crow host. Get get on it, guy. Like, dude, come on. Next question. Okay. You're, you're still need to do that, Sean. Not not, Who not starred in now, all like, three films. Oh, real quick, what film is Christian Bale ashamed of? Newsies. That's why he won't allow uh, any of the songs or singing and dancing in his movies anymore. I haven't seen. Oh, the answer is a lot of them. Oh well, but. Who starred? What uh, what actor starred in the following three films? Cabaret, Murder on the Orient Express, the nineteen seven the seventies version. Just to clarify, Michael York and Austin Powers. That's definitely Bob Gucci. Michael York, and for Bob once, Gucci. I got that answer by guessing it before the second one. Michael York. Well done. You know what? I should. This is a good test that for the singles tournament, I should let them finish the whole question. Pro mm -hmm. Probably before answering Jack Nicholson. Ooh, here, here's yeah. that guy one. What award-winning oh, actress that. starred as the following characters? A photojournalist, a rapper's mom, and a Kim Bassinger. prostitute. Kim Bassinger. Yes. Ooh. What actress starred the following characters? A boisterous football mom, a psychotic fangirl, and Mother Claus. Oh, we just went over this one. Oh, the Mother Claus one. It's, 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 yeah, right. Okay. The psychotic fangirl. It's not single white female. It's not Kathy Bates. Is it, wait, Kathy Bates. Is it, read it again. Well, repeat. A boisterous football mom, a psychotic yeah. fangirl, and Mother Claus. That sounds like Kathy Bates. But it might that be. That sounds like Dan Stoner did that. Yeah, that final answer. Interviewed. And it's Kathy Bates. Ah! Can you name all three movies? Uh, I can't name the Mrs. Claus one. I was thinking of something else. Uh, I can't name the Mrs. Claus one. I just was going off the psychiatric fan girl. I'd say she's a fan woman. 
but fangirl's fine. Uh, the of course I can't name the with the sports so she, movie. Uh, Waterboy. Water oh my gosh, it's so funny. Waterboy. Oh, and so misery, so funny, obviously. Misery. Mm. I would say fan woman, and then also the Santa Claus Part Two. No, she never becomes Mrs. Claus. She was in, in, Santa uh, she was in Fred Claus. What the fuck is Fred Claus? Fred, Fred Claus has oh, Vince Vaughn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. like Santa's younger brother or his son or something. Next question. Oh, I'm getting these. All right. Now, uh, now that became the Alex training Drew session. Okay, okay. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask I'm them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, are, are, you, are you not prepared for moments like these? Crow? Oh dear, I don't prepared? care about movie three. Do you even I, know what your what character your name is from? Yeah, Danny. I actually, I don't know that. No, what? Oh, wait, what's what his it? name? What's his name? Do you know? Or are you asking yourself? Oh, I know. Yes, I, I, I don't think I don't think there's to that question. What's his the, name? The crow, crow? the Brandon yeah? Lee Crow. Oh wow, he knew it. He knew it. He knew it was Brandon Lee. I think I, I, I really didn't understand that question, by the way. Wait, um, somebody's saying that we should change the name of the show to Crow Bates. Is that what happens when uh, the crow marries Kathy Bates and he takes her last name because he's well, progressive? I was also going to say, not only Brandon Lee, but right. honestly, I don't really think of you as the crow. If anything, I think of you as a little crow person, you know, from Maleficent, because obviously our lady oh here God. is a goddess. Is it totally 100% a Disney villainess? And you're, she's not even in consideration and in, in being talked about in that movie, The Crow. So, if anything, you should be the crow that is assisting is villainess. In is it ben Wishaw? What? Is Ben Wishaw the crow from Maleficent, or am I totally wrong? Because that guy is no, super hot. It's not Ben Wishaw. It is a dude named Sam Riley. Oh, and his character weird. name of The Crow is, do you, I'm sorry, do you have it, Danny Boy? Oh, wow. Do you know your name? Kind of nailing it. This is exactly what I thought of when I made Danny into a real boy. I was like, remember that part of Maleficent where yeah. that where the boy I, becomes where the crow becomes like a hot dude and it's like irrelevant to the plot. He didn't need to be an attractive dude. Like yeah. it could have just been like a it could have been like Brad Dorf or something. It's almost like if anything, I'm prepared. Oh you're superior you're cohort. prepared you're, to your name, your name is a I can, I don't even know if I can pronounce it. Is it Diavel? Diavel? It's there's no V there. It's just I deal. I, I can spell it, but I can't pronounce it. Yeah, me neither. That's a, a lot Brazilian. of people have problems with this as well. But regardless, yeah. I, how did you not make that connection? Considering Drew here is obviously five million percent a villain no. from the world of Disney. Now, Alex, I do want to tell you something real quick, which is that you're a little bit wrong. Danny was actually named after Daenerys Stormborn, uh, the the the, the villainess hero uh that you know when i named my child in 2015 it seemed like a really good idea to just name danny daenerys uh regretting that decision like a lot of mothers uh right now so i just yeah that's just that's just what it is let's just see oh we got some hot takes from brandy he's trying to he isn't trying to over, i don't know what's happening in this chat he isn't trying to overshadow video drew and take over the show because he is the better co-host what is oh, that? Oh, Alex, that's the problem when you, between you and me. Oh. Do not mistake me for the ones that seek being a co-host out of blindness or oh. ego. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if people like me as much as Drew. I'm They're sorry. So pretty. I'm sorry about that. Should I apologize? As much as, much as me? I, as much I like as him? People like us both, absolutely. See, like Drew, that's what I'm talking about. She's just you have your trying own. to use you, Drew. Drew that's I'm, what I'm trying to you to see. I can't believe Alex thinks I'm as popular as she is. That's such a compliment. Oh, God, no, Drew, that's not the point. Drew is amazing. It, I consider us equals. I really yeah. do. I think, I think Drew is amazing. She has every potential... She is every. She is in every way superior to me. But when I go into our show, I think of her as a co-host. I don't think of yeah. myself as a sidekick. I'm a co-host. Yeah. Right. Different. And maybe, you, know, maybe what I said you can be mine, best sidekick, Danny. Do, are you my sidekick? Oh no, are you my Danny. Sidekick? Danny. I think she's she's doing the thing. That's part of the ritual. 
That's how you become I a familiar. It, it, you just go up to someone, you go, "Are you my sidekick? Are you my sidekick?" And then you just say, it "Like, like, that are you my sidekick?" That's not what happened between us. That's not our our. Yeah, we right got over it. It was Brad Gilmore calling Frank Janice creepy. That's that was the ritual that it took. That, to make that's it. the orange story. It's a very funny story. Uh, okay, let's see. Your bracket. A co-host. Someone saying a co-host, not a Roca. I don't know what that's a reference to. Uh, one time, John Roca and I were going to do a show together, but something happened to it. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea what happened, but I, I heard you have somebody else on now. Um, but yeah, it's it's supposed uh, to be pretty I good. I, I don't understand the reference. Oh, I don't know either. I don't know, but if I find out who that person is who took my slot on the John Roca Big Hat Man show, I'm going to get so angry. That's going to be very interesting, don't you think? <laughs> Uh, is this a Morbius edition? I don't know what Morbius is. Is he from the mate, the Martrix? <laughs> Get it? Is is Morbius from the Martrix? Who is uh, See, she Morbius. made a fun joke, Alex. You should laugh. Yeah, Alex. Why are you not being more sycophantic? Yes. This, what this is this thing? No, no, I do have to ask you, if we are going to go off this thing of, of, you know, who loves me best, which is really what this contest is about, um, I guess the real question is, let's play a game of trivia called, what what happened with Drew? So I'm going to ask you a series of, of trivia questions, and you have to give me the correct answer. Okay? Are you ready? Uh, okay. My lawyer had a point, but okay, let's play this game. Is, is the lawyer involved with this? We can do it. Okay, so... <laughs> lawyer, do you what? want to come in? Does this lawyer want to come in again? I don't think I don't think they're there. But we do have we do have uh, nothing. We do have nothing. We could show you if you guys want. We could show you a big old screen of. Oh wait, now we have a donation. I pressed the button and a donation happened. Thank you, JJ Winward. There's a whole thing going on, guys. Streamlabs.com/backslash video drew. Send in your your hot tip for who is the better better co-host. I guess. And then that's what we'll be doing. Yeah. And let's see what the people think, Alex. That's it says, be what actor played an American inventor, a murder sea suspect, and a DC inventor? Okay, what actor played an American inventor, a murder suspect, and a DC invent a DC? Why the movie trivia questions? See what you did, Alex. Like, I, I, I do you want clarification: a DC villain or a DC EU villain? DC. Oh. A uh, DC villain. This is going to be Kevin Spacey. I don't know what the first one is, but the second two are Spacey. A murder oh, yeah. suspect is definitely. Like, he was he was Lex Luthor was in Lex Superman, Luthor. in one of the Superman so movies. Inventor, I don't need to get Inventor to know that that's correct. When did he ever play that's an Inventor? Brian Cranston. He's a the other idea would be David Bowie he's an because when he played Tesla, uh, who else played an Inventor? Inventor is such a weird thing. Oh, I was thinking right? of initially, like because I I know. A uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, he's played inventors in like two movies. Oh, he's, he's but a I, hero, but, though. But that's thing, he's oh. never, yeah, he's but he's a hero in the MCU, obviously. As far as Where I know, I haven't seen him in the DC universe. The last two are Kevin Spacey to me, which means that the first one's probably K Pax. I don't know, but the, it's definitely right. It's Kevin Spacey. There's no other right answer. And K Pax uh, is supposed to be a Gene he Hackett? thinks he's no. an alien, essentially, right? Yeah, he well, he thinks he's a video drew. Wait, the answer said some person, Benedict Cumberbatch. When was he a DC villain? He was a Star Trek villain. He's a Marvel hero. When was he a DC villain? That's it. I can't remember that. Please tell me. He was a like hero of Doctor Strange Marvel, you dum-dums. Not dum-dums. Not People that yeah, that's it. He's not a villain. That's it. Also, that's an MCU <laughs> movie, not a DC movie. None of these are correct answers because JJ uh, hasn't answered it. So JJ hasn't told us what it is. Uh, let's see. We have another donation. <gasps> the imitation but you're okay, D. Morgan. Yeah, but we do, he did invent Wait, that. Yeah, you're right. He did. Oh. He was a. He was an inventor in that movie, The Invitation Game. Yeah, but he, he doesn't but. fit for the other two. So, 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 he doesn't fit for the other two suggestions, which is he's never been a DC villain. Christopher Plummer has never been a DC villain either. Plummer, not never been a DC villain. Mm. I don't Jay, know. we need the answer. We got to. Sean has tipped. Lucas has tipped. There's a bunch of tips coming in. Gosh, guys. So now I'm going to have to read off their responses. I'm just going to put it down. JJ says it's Michael Shannon. God. God. <gasps> he's right. Man um, when has he played an inventor? See, people are very uh, He's played a murder suspect here. in Knives Out. He was a murder suspect in Knives Out. 
and he was an inventor in. Well, so what were he playing yeah, like? Where a, are, where are we? Right. I don't know. Say. Bug? Did he invent that? Let's it was see. like one. I, I think that, that take the band. Cumberbatch. Now I think about it. Huh. Oh God! What was he an inventor in? Let's see. Let's take this down for a second. What? What? Sean I can't, I can't donated. It says. So I'm the best co-host, says Sean. Well, thank, thanks for that donation, Sean. Oh, Sean, uh, we'll you're not the co-host, your producer. And you know, took I you agree with that. Yeah, three true. hours to put a crow Wait, host. Did someone say why when he played an inventor, uh, Michael Shannon? Current war. He played an inventor in the current what? war. Okay, you know what, though? I think my answer of Kevin Spacey is just as valid. He invented the idea of sleeping with your uh, daughter's uh, best friend in American Beauty, and he fits the other two descriptions. Next question. I don't think he invented that. I don't yeah, he also it. invented the idea. Lucas says, this is to show my support for Alex. Uh, uh, says, uh, of course. Well, I don't know. I, I could have seen Lucas go on either side of that debate, so that could have gone either way. No. Everyone else was very good. Okay. Jesse Eisenberg also played an inventor, a DC villain, and a murder suspect. That's true. There's multiple answers. Jesse Eisenberg. Murder suspect. Jesse Eisenberg with murder suspect. He's been a murder suspect in several movies. He's been a murder suspect you in Eisenberg. Uh, wrong. I challenge. Hold on, give me a second. No, no, hold on. Give me a second where Eisenberg's been a murder suspect. Uh he's arguably so he in uh, social network. No, I didn't murder him on social network. What what about in the double? What about in the double, Eric? Let's go to that. Or uh, double, uh, a double in, is that, I thought it was called Double Indemnity. No, Double Indemnity, that's another movie entirely. Oh. That's a different film. Body okay. Double is by uh, Michael Cavis Tip. Guys, we are getting a lot of donations saying, this one says, I'm torn who is the better co-host, but I can say for certain that I am Team Drew. So somebody that's here is from the not, Action Army. That's not Somebody here is pro Illuminati. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg wins. Uh, I feel like Jesse Eisenberg is a better answer than the actual answer. Jesse Eisenberg's definitely played a murder suspect in, mm, just like throw it out there, like Zombieland. Right? Sure. Is it murder? Sure. It's, it's, it's not murder, actually. <laughs> we need a poll for this. Yeah, we do. I uh, Plumber has replaced Kevin Spacey. Uh yeah, guys, this is all good answers. This is the problem with writing uh, any questions is these can all have multiple answers. You know what, you lady? I got a bunch of other categories. I'm just saying. Do another one. And then you know what? This show has been going on for an hour and a half. Then we're going to be moving this game onto our Patreon-only Zoom call, which is like a fun <laughs> and virtual like network. We take off our makeup okay. and, and put on our Can I faces. call my lawyer again? Yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Yes. Do you, okay. kid? He murdered Bill Murray. He murdered Bill Murray. In what movie? Zombieland. Oh. Ooh. You want scores and soundtracks questions? Yeah, I want it. I want it so bad. Put it in my mouth. Sorry. Got it. I, I, you got I, it. Yep. What? John Williams collaborated with Steven Spielberg for two movies released in 1993. Name both. 93 would be... Oh God, 93, John Williams. Hmm. Mm, John no, Williams next collaborated with Steven Spielberg uh -huh. for two movies yeah. released in 1893. Name both. What, what movies came out in 93? Jurassic Park seems later. Yeah. Um, Jurassic Park seems later. Schindler's List also seems later. How old was I when I, no, Jurassic oh, Park's correct. You didn't say directed, right? You said collaborated. On movies directed by Spielberg or that Spielberg was a part of? Directed by Spielberg. Directed by Spielberg. So I just have to think of the two movies that Spielberg did in 1993. That's easy. And? So what's your final and answer? And I would, give you, I would give you the answer then. Hook is one of them. Hook is one of them. And then I feel like that's good enough. The answer no, it's not is, Jurassic Park and Schindler's List. It can't be Jurassic Park and Schindler's List because there's no way those two movies were the same year. Is it? It is. Those two movies were the same fucking year? Jurassic Park and Schindler's List? Baby. There's no way 
Someone look. Can we I fact check that? I don't know that is Alan Smith. I'm always the one prepared when she co-hosts, so that's why I'm Team Alex. Says, says uh, Malcolm in the middle media. Is that true? Oh, Was she supposed to say uh, me? I double tracked it. It is. Whammy. What the hell was Spielberg on that year? Holy hell. I don't not believe you. I just need to double check that those two movies came out the same year. What the hell, Oh, I have another Eric, one. Eric, we well, get another one. Give me another one while I Google what Spielberg was taking that year and how I had to get some. <laughs> I have another question from David Fincher. Yeah, do it. Are you sure not David Lynch or Cronenberg? Be careful. Oh, I'm I'm different. They are different yeah. persons. Trent Reznor and Atticus Rocks. Sorry, yeah. Ross. Oh, sure. it's, it's social network. One. I'm sorry. Social network. Yes, it is. That's true. Who composed the iconic score to Marty Scorsese's Taxi Driver? Oh, that's a great question. Who does the Scorsese mm -hmm. soundtracks? See, no one ever asks about the soundtracks. Everyone's always asking about the score. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Who does Scorsese's music? Was not Zimmer? He wasn't around yet. Like, uh, was it one of the Newmans? Was it, was it one of the Newmans? That doesn't sound right. It was Paradise Lost. Al Alan Silvestri? No, that doesn't sound right either. Danny Elfman's wrong. Howard Shore is wrong. Williams is wrong. Is it the same person who did Godfather? Uh, give me a hint or multiple. <laughs> Best I think I know. Like. Lady. Oh, when I prepare these questions, I don't have multiple multiple answers. Elmer Bernstein. The answer oh, is I Bernard. You Herman. Always prepare that. Oh, Bernard Herman. There's no mm -hmm. fucking way it was Bernard Herman. Oh Bernard my god. Was like, I was like, it can't be. He did all the he did all the Hitchcock stuff. Uh, that must have been one of his last movies then, because I don't think that dude lived very long. He did. He did. Yeah, he, did he did quite a bit for a while. Yeah, he was. Obviously, Dude, super famous for it. that's super crazy. I like knowing that, and I will never forget it now. Nor will I forget that the Jurassic Park and Schindler's List somehow came out the same year. That seems like a big deal, just in terms of trivia knowledge. Big year. Big year. Big. Because they're worried about me and right, Mark Riley, as if, as if that, as if there's any way that scores and soundtracks will ever come up in any conversation, and uh, as if, guy, as okay. if. I wouldn't be worried because because fear is an emotion I have not that to be worried about, Mistress. Tam, Tam Diddy, Tam Williams, Brazil's next Hey, why don't you ask me about something I'm good in? Like, I don't know. Directors? Yeah, Alex. Rom coms, new, uh, new releases, comic book movies, James Let's Bond. Let's just say something, something that maybe, uh, maybe my opponent would be good in. Horror thriller? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see how we go okay. there. In 1992's Candyman, how many times did a person have to say right. Candyman before he prepared? Perfect. Edward Can I just Woodard. Oh, Edward go Woodard, ahead. a police officer searching for a missing little girl in what 70s horror thriller? Mm. Oh, wait, so it's horror thriller. Wait, that's not the category. Challenge. The category in round two is just horror. Oh, I, I, I stand corrected. Horror, then. But is this a horror movie or is this a horror thriller? Uh, Let me double check, just let me double check what it says on IMDb. Horror, like a uh, missing little girl in the 70s. Doesn't sound like any big horror movies I can think of. Uh, let's see. It doesn't sound like the any big... The movie is categorized under IMDb as horror, mystery, and thriller. 70s movie. It's a 70s like, film. You know Let's it. See. I know this one. Yeah. Gosh, is it a Palma? It's not mm -hmm. Lynch. It's too early for Lynch. It's uh, Justin Hansen is going to do well. Going to do well. I don't. I I don't care because I I'm better than him. One hundred percent. Justin I mean, Hansen has him. nothing to do with the crow lawyer that appeared before. They're completely. I'm also going to help prepare Drew for said match. So oh, also I know the Okay, like my girl's got this. She's gonna take it all the way. Do not trust it's her not don't mistress. look now because uh it's not don't look now and it's not Suspiria. Although technically there is a cop in Suspiria, it's the little girl. Hmm. So don't have it. Wait, let's see. 
little girl that goes missing, a little girl that goes missing, and it's a cop that finds her in a 70s movie. Hmm. A cop or an... A cop, a police, police officer. officer. Yeah. A police officer that goes, that takes a little girl and he kidnaps her, and he probably in her his house where he lives, and it's probably the same guy, and it's, it's by... I'm getting the name Anthony Perkins. So I'm I'm gonna guess it's it's Psycho Three. The answer is no. the Wicker Man. Oh, that's right. Starring okay, that Christopher Plummer. Yes, I didn't realize it was him oh, when I saw it for the first time. I was like, oh, look at that. Wait, no, not Plummer. It's Christopher Lee. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right. I was like, oh, look at you. I had no idea that's. Like it's, but it's also weird. Like I haven't seen Alan Smithy. That was my first thought, but that's not about a cop, and it's not a missing daughter. That's about his daughter who's dead, uh, and it's he's not a cop. They're in Italy. Definitely not a cop. Yes. Definitely not a cop. Let's see. Wicker Man was a good pull. You could also just said uh, the movie that Neil Abute ruined by having Nick Cage punch a bunch of women in the face for. I haven't seen that one before. If you like The Wicker Man, then you'll love Video Drew and her whole cult. Please join the Patreon.com backslash Video Drew, where we can go on and keep playing games like this. Alex, mm -hmm. I think we have time for one more question, and then we're going to call it a, hey, a night. A more entertaining movie. one, please, Alex. Okay. You I don't know the bar this should be work. This should be a little bit easier. What MCU director wrote and directed the 2012 horror film Scott Sinister? Derrickson. There you go. That's it. That was good. Hey, do you notice how I don't need to get to the end of the question to know the answer for most of these? Isn't that cool? One more, one more. Yeah, that one I got would hate that. By the way. One more, one more. And then we go to the parts where we say our names. One more. Okay. okay. This could be, you know, technically in another category as well, but, you know, okay. whatever. Okay, okay. This could be a thriller or a mystery or whatever, maybe. Name a one of the three actors that have played FBI investigator Jack Crawford in the Hannibal oh. Lecter franchise. Well, I mean, does it have to be the movie version or can it be the, the TV movie version? Version. So you can I also Lawrence Fishburne is one of them. I'd say uh, not the TV show. Definitely not a cult. <laughs> definitely not a cult. Oh God, what's his name? Uh, it's not Burt Reynolds. It's that fucking guy uh, with the. Uh, He's like got that boy. Chicago accent. Let's see. It is like three badass dudes. It's the dude from Manhunter. It's not Burt Reynolds. Richard of uh, Scott uh, Farina. Dennis Farina. Is that your final answer? Yeah, Dennis Farina. Dennis Farina is correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was like, not the other, the other ones was Harvey oh, Keitel wow. from Red Dragon. Harvey Keitel, that's right. Yeah, and I was going to be like that one dude from all the No, not every Norton guy. He's playing Will Graham. <laughs> and also awesome. Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn. No, sorry. Scott Glenn's from Manhunter. Uh, Dennis Farina's from, or is it Dennis Farina's from Manhunter? Scott Glenn plays it in Silence of the Lambs. Uh, Carvey Cadell's in, in Red Dragon. And then, or is it Red Dragon or Hannibal? Let's see. Hold on. Dennis Farina's from Manhunter. Harvey Keitel's from... Thank you, Christopher. Hannibal, and then I, right, Hannibal? And then Scott Glenn would give Silence of the Lambs. That, that tracks. Mm -hmm. William Peterson says somebody else. William Peterson. Okay, one more, one more, and then we're done. And then we go to the end. Okay, let me pick another one. Happy birthday, Abby Friel. If she's watching <gasps> yes! definitely. Happy birthday, I know she's Definitely. also doing a birthday stream or something. Yeah. I Definitely. Abby right Friel. Jack Crawford is not Hannibal. So sorry, that was Red Dragon that he's in. Is he really not in Hannibal? I'm getting confused with the show. I thought, and definitely in the book, he's in there. He's not in Hannibal. Oh, right. It's, it's, uh, it's what's his name with the fucking scars on his face? Andy Garcia. Nope. Andy Garcia. Maybe. Go ahead. Next one. Let's see. Come yeah, Scott Glenn is great in sure he's, also great in, um, he's also great in so many other things. I like how my brain freezes the moment that I am asked to be uh, answering knowledgeable questions. I actually okay. agree with Dean Scott Glenn in Daredevil. He's great. 
Stick he's great in Daredevil. Like, oh, Sucker Punch. He's great in Sucker Punch. And by that, I mean, I remember that he was in Sucker Punch. It's problematic. He's always playing Asian characters. That's true. Go ahead. That's incredibly true. In what psychological thriller does Sigourney Wait, Weaver play Helen Hudson, an expert on serial killers that de develop severe agoraphobia as a result of a bad experience in the field? Wait, serial killers who develop agoraphobia? Oh, oh sorry, let me reword. Um, in what psychological thriller does Sigourney Weaver play Helen Hudson, an expert on serial killers, and she develops a severe agoraphobia as a result of a bad experience in the field? Sigourney Weaver, it's it's not a double indemnity, is it? Is it double indemnity? Is that your final answer? No. That one I don't. I just don't have. I've never seen that movie. It sounds like a De Palma film. Uh, so, it sounds like a De Palma film. Let's see. It's a movie called Copycat. Never saw Copycat. Who directed that? Um, let's see. Holly Hunter's in as well. John Amiel. Amy John Amiel. Well, guys. You know, in 1995, Dylan uh, Mulroney is in it. Harry Connick Jr. Will Patton. Can I tell you how many times Harry Connick Jr. has played uh, like a murderer? Like at least like three or four times. Oh, that's wait, that's the main one. We're out of there. I know that. Yeah. Come Heather outfit. Let's see. Oh, we got another donation, guys. We've gotten so many donations tonight. Uh, what Hunt for Red October? It, don't you mean Crimson Tide? But don't you mean Crimson Peak? It's the same thing. Uh, so we want to go out on a big note, which means I have to get one more question, and then we're gonna go and do this Patreon. One more, because we gotta make me win. <laughs> We've gotta rig the game, just like in real life. Josiah says, "I love Scott Brennan in the Hunt for Red October." Yeah. So, now uh, that's part of the one more. Name me three other people from Hunt for Red October. Um, Hunt for Red October. Uh, um, Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Denzel Washington. There, those are my three. Oh, wait, no, that was, that's that was Washington was mm. No, wasn't that cool? Gene Hackman? Oh, I'm getting confused. Forget me, forget me. No, it is not the same thing. Just has a murderer's it. face. I'm getting confused. Forget me, forget me. You're right, it's not, it's not it's, it might not be a hunt for October. That's so true. James Earl Jones and Sam Rockwell. Sorry, not Sam Rockwell. Jack Baldwin and Sam Neill. Oh, from Jurassic Park? You mean from 1993's Jurassic Park? Yeah. That sounds right. The greatest actor ever. Yeah, Denzel Washington. Yay. Tim Curry, the greatest actor ever. Can't believe I forgot a Tim Curry question. Okay, Tim name Curry. the Tim Curry movie. Name the Tim Curry movie where he plays a cloud of toxic sludge. Fern Gully. Straight up Fern Gully, y'all. Man. So who oh won? Well, I think he has, somebody's what, asking what, a question. What, what, someone just asked a question. Who won? I think there's an answer. It's Drew. Drew won. Just like she's going to win all of the Schmodown. Now, we that's the last question. I think we just had it. And mm -hmm. we're going to end the broadcast. And if you're part of our Patreon, you can find out more things I know or don't know. Who knows? Maybe I was lying this entire time and I looked up Jurassic Park way before this movie started. Um, and I wanted to say goodbye, goodbye America, but also have you guys say your goodbyes before we go over. Ox of the Grand Start Slam. As the guest. It. Yes, as the guest as for the this guest. show, but then not all the shows. Alex, where can we where can we find you? No, I think we should start with the sidekick. Danny, you ready? You are oh, the guest. Point. We can no, we can first. find you. Okay, where can we find you, Danny, as the sidekick? Where can we find you? Three hours later. Really, Drew? I have to go first. Yes. So I don't know. We seem to be at a stalemate here. You have to I'm choose. Just I'm Who goes mad about first? That I'm mad about the Spielberg thing. Uh, I have to choose? Yeah. So don't make me do the thing. First. That and would be I'm like deciding which of member of the Finstock Exchange would be the easiest to beat. Um, oh, that would be so hard. It's like, mm, really, there's so many of them. Let's see. Jen is free. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, thank you for that. Ladies first. Okay, so I'll go. You can find me here. Oh, no. At, no. 
It's, you have to choose between me and Alex to go for it. And she, as the no, guest, I, as, as the lady, she no, has to bro, go for I would okay. never ask you to make such a horrible, horrible decision like that, you know, because, you know, you have one co-host here and you have one sidekick. So, like I oh, said, I in a categorical know. sense. Challenge. I'll tell you where you can find Alex and Danny. You can find Alex over on the yeah. Call to Action uh, channel, or you can find uh, where she does uh, Schmo Base, but she's also part of like Call to Action. That's what she was doing right before the show. You can also find her at, at, oh God, they're different for every single social media platform, but it's at real underscore Alex Mac on Twitter. On 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 Instagram, it's uh, at Midori underscore Mac, don't, I don't, think. Don't go to the fake Ooh, Alex. Drew, Mac. That, Drew, that, speaking that, of Schmobates, do you want to be on Schmobates this, this Wednesday? Yes, I will. Yeah. You want to okay. compete? Then, you want to compete? Yes. Yeah, yes, I do. And then, know, also, and then also you can find Alex um, as she's the host. She's the manager. Sorry, she's the host of Schmobates, but she's the manager of the fan leagues where she manages the great Ryan Payne, who just recently won a Matrix quiz. And I'm pretty sure that's where you can find Alex. I'm... And then you can find Danny sometimes here where we do call to action. Whoops. That's not what we do here. <laughs> we do call to action. Kind of uh, you can't find Danny at call to action ever, probably. And I'm not call to action. So let's take call, that from the top. Call, call to action. You yeah, call to action. You got to give that to him. That was pretty funny. You can find Danny on Action. It's a new. Uh, it's a new. <laughs> it's show. a new show with me, Alex, and Drew. Call, call. To and it's. Uh, we just sit outside uh, the Bandit's window and just <laughs> just talk loudly for an hour. It's really distracting. Uh, you can find Danny sometimes over at the Gucci Verse, um, where he is boss lives, and then you can find him on. I feel like Instagram at Danny Crow thing. Crow thing. Yeah, yeah that sounds right. It's a crow uh, thing. Danny, Danny's also here every Sunday night with me, Video Drew, because we co-host this show together. It's called In the Live in the Dark with Video Drew. It's pretty good. Um, then you can also, on Tuesdays, watch me co-host a show with Alex. It's called Cinema Bias. It's where we make each other watch movies, The one or the other, or you, the audience, will pick for us and come on and talk about. This week, we're doing Warrior. Warrior. It's a movie made me cry. I was streaming it live on twitch and i was crying on camera that was not great didn't love that feeling uh next week also we have uh on live in the dark we have special guest brad gilmore that's that's a person creepy and then uh mondays and thursdays on my channel we do uh video chronic pop culture quizzes at 9 p.m and then on wednesdays and fridays you can find me on twitch where at 5 p.m i do movie watch alongs and friday night at 8 p.m you can find us at Video Karaoke. But really, it's so much easier. It's so much easier if you just go to the Patreon and without paying anything, just press follow so you can get the updates about when stuff is happening. That's and you can join our, and you can, for money, you can be part of our quizzes or you can come on this show or you could come on the other shows or you could, I don't know, be my best friend. I want to say thank That's you. I, I want to say thank you most of all to myself. I did a really good job hosting. It was super hard tonight because I was torn between how much I love both these people slash crows, how much I love video drew. And also like Jen Sturger, who is the head of the Shmominati and is going to make it. So I win the tournament. It was really tough. So thank you guys so much for joining us. You, the audience are the real winners. And if you're part of my Patreon, guess what we're about to do party on. This has been live in the dark with video drew. There's some before credit. you go, before you go, before you oh, go to the credits, before you go yeah. to the credits, I wanted yeah. to say something. Oh, I want to thank my all, mods, which are you, Sean, Adelia, and and Steve. First of all, <gasps> I forgot to make the credits. Oh, that's okay. Alex, we'll just use the old credits. That's that's not intentional. Second okay. of all, yeah, I am the better host. Bye bye. Okay. That's what I'm thinking.